AITA for yelling at my mentally handicapped cousin for cutting up all my dresses? So, recently my aunt, F41, and her son, M13, came home to my country from Sweden. We have a spare room where my dresses are hung since my room is a little small. They're sort of hidden away on a rack in the corner so you have to pull them out to see them. My aunt and my cousin were going to sleep in there which I didn't have a problem with. He's mentally handicapped, I don't really know what it is, and practically acts like a 7-year-old, which is a little annoying but I don't blame him or anything. When I woke up in the morning it was really hot and everyone was downstairs so I walked into the spare room to find a dress, only to find practically every single one with cuts and parts on the floor. I basically freaked out and instantly knew who it was since my aunt and mom wouldn't do something. Like that, I stormed down the stairs and screamed at him, which attracted my aunt and mom to come immediately. I couldn't be calmed down at all. Since I bought most of the dresses with my own money, he started crying and my aunt hugged him, trying to console him whilst my mom started yelling at me for making him cry. He even admitted to it after a while and even then they consoled him. My mom offered to pay for some but it's only enough to for like 10 dresses and I had over 30. Besides I can't find some of my favorites since we're getting closer to winter and the fact that I was proud that I paid for it myself. Some of my family, including my mom and aunt, are all telling me I'm in the wrong and to apologize to him. But I really don't think I'm wrong. AITA? Some context. I am a 16-year-old cis woman and haven't seen my aunt and cousin for a little over two years. We have a shared desk besides the dresses that have a few scissors here and there. We, my mom and I, forgot about them when they came so we didn't hide anything away. Dear mom and aunt, if my cousin is incapable of bearing responsibility for his behavior, then he is incapable of being left alone without parental supervision. As the adults in the situation, it is your responsibility to fully replace the property that was lost when you left someone unsupervised who you know should not be left alone. Here is a list of what was lost along with a total price. If they complain about the price, you can remind them how many hours of your life you worked for that money. NTA aunt should pay for every single dress. Less than practically acts like a 7-year-old. Even a 7-year-old wouldn't do such a thing. And if he's prone on destroying things, your aunt shouldn't have left him out of her sight. So you are probably barking against the wrong tree. Make your aunt pay for your dresses. All of them. How long did she leave him unsupervised for him to destroy all your dresses? NTA. NTA WTFH wasn't someone watching him? If anything you need to sue your aunt for destruction of property since she clearly couldn't keep control of her destructive kid. NTA. Aunt should have been watching her son. I'm sorry this happened to you. Given the time taken to cut even once into 30 dresses, your cousin had been left unattended for quite some time to do that. Your aunt needs to replace the dresses and give an appropriate punishment to her son. No judgment here as I don't know what you said to him or how long you were screaming at him for. Could be an ESH situation. Could have been NTA. NTA, I am sorry I yelled. I know he can't control himself and it's not his fault. However I will need all of my clothing replaced. Cut up her clothes. See how she likes it. I know you can't do that. I am a little grumpy. There is no way she didn't see this happen. If she claims she didn't, then she is neglectful as a parent. He obviously had access to something sharp. Your aunt should pay for the dresses. Ask your mother how she would like all her clothes cut up. Then hand your cousin a scissor and show him to her closet. Yup. Still grumpy. So sorry your dresses were ruined. 
That was so preventable and horrible. Your mother shouldn't pay. Your aunt should pay for it. Mental handicapped or not, it's her child and she has to make sure he doesn't do things like that. I wouldn't talk to any of them as long as they don't pay for your dresses. They can have an apology the moment they have paid. NTA. NTA. It doesn't matter that he's mentally challenged. Your aunt is responsible for his behavior. Do not apologize. NTA. And honestly, I think the aunt is an accessory to the crime. The dresses were fine before bedtime. And your aunt was with your cousin the whole time during the night before heading to breakfast the next morning. There's no way she didn't see him doing it at some point. Unless he did it while she was asleep. NTA your reaction is natural and normal. No matter who did the deed. Maybe in the future. Though, a little research into your cousin's special needs will help smooth relations. Even if you never have such an event again. NTA I'll say first that my son is developmentally and physically disabled. He is 17. He has known since he was known boundaries from a young age. He knows what he is and is not allowed to do. He has always been appropriately disciplined with guidance from therapists and doctors. If your cousin is capable of admitting he did it after the fact he's capable of knowing it was wrong. He's being coddled. His mother likely feels bad or guilty. Which is reinforced by a lot of doctors. That she's to blame for him being disabled. As a result she doesn't discipline him. I see this all the time in my son's peers. It's something all of his therapists have complained about regarding kids they treat. It raises entitled kids that think the world owes them for being disabled. They become adults that are incapable of caring for themselves. Your cousin owes you an apology. His mother is doing him a huge disservice by not giving him rules and boundaries. She's setting him up for a lifetime of failure. NTA. If your cousin can't be left without supervision to stop him doing things like that, then he shouldn't be left without supervision. It's not your responsibility to lock all of your things away just in case your cousin does something to your things. Also, getting mad about this is a normal reaction. Most people would be mad that their entire wardrobe had been destroyed by an unsupervised child. NTA. Like yes. Under no circumstance you should yell at kids. But OP's situation is very a justified rage at that moment. Do cut off some slacks there. First OP's dresses are destroyed then there are mom and auntie saying they are an asshole and give. Her like 30% reimbursement for the damaged dresses. Boys I would go no contact at the first opportunity presented. NTA. They're telling you to be the better person because nobody wants to parent him. Too bad. Stand your ground. NTA. A couple of things. Just because someone is sorry, DIDBT mean to do something doesn't mean you can't feel terrible about it. Your feelings and reactions are valid. Also 100% agree with others how the hell did he manage that. It is far from normal behavior even for a 7 year old. He had to be left for a significant enough amount of time to do that as well. You aunt left him along for a long time when she never should have. Present her a bill for all the dress with a line for emotional distress but graciously let her off. That charge. That is fair as your cousin got upset. So you both had emotional distress. But that doesn't mean she is off the cost of the dresses. Out of curiosity are you a cis woman? It might be relevant. Also record your conversations you have about this with your aunt. Your aunt should pay for every single dress, why wasn't she watching your cousin? NTA NTA pretty understandable that you'd lose your temper there. You should be made whole again. Doesn't matter where the money comes from. If your mother was willing to give you enough for 10 dresses. 
The auntie should find the money for the other 20. Duh. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.